Hey guys, welcome to my third attempt at doing this answer portion of the Q&A for the 1000 sub special. I wanted to make it really elaborate and awesome and uh, it didn't work out so well. So I'm doing it again. And uh, I'm going to use some screenshots that I took of Final Fantasy XI. And there may or may not be music in the background. Depends on how lazy I get. But I'm going to go through all these questions. You guys asked quite a few. Around 30. Some people asked multiple questions. Uh, but that that was fine, and I'm gonna answer them all. I'm probably gonna jump around and answer the shortest ones first, because uh, it, it took four videos the last time. So let's try this again. All right, let's see. Let's find some short ones. Uh, will you be doing? I mean, be buying and doing gameplay on Modern Warfare 2? No, uh, I don't really do new games. Uh, Mostly because I, I really like retro games, and you know, as far as I've gone so far with consoles is PS1. Maybe I'll do a PS2 game at some point, but uh, I'm sticking with the older games. Plus, when you put out uh, footage of new games, you do like tend to run into a problem with uh, legal issues, and YouTube might decide to take the videos down, and I'd rather not run into that problem. So yeah, I'm not doing that. Um. Do you plan on Let's Playing the Japanese version of Streets of Rage 3 with Scottish Duck 17? No, I don't. Uh, this, you know, despite the fact that some changes to the story, uh, and a couple of sprites are changed, uh, and one character is omitted, uh, I'm not gonna do it again. We've already played through the game four times, and it really wouldn't, uh, it wouldn't make any sense to do it again, because you'd really just be watching the same thing. And we've actually finished the Let's Play already, so... Uh, yeah, we won't be doing another playthrough of that. Uh, Snoop Dogg or 50 Cent? Uh, I don't listen to rap, so I can't really pick one. <laughs> I'm kind of answering the really ones that are kind of negative first. I guess it's good to end on a high note. Um, let's see. Do you think you'll be doing an LP of Left 4 Dead or Left 4 Dead 2? The same reason I'm not doing Modern Warfare 2. Uh, Along with the fact that, you know, I actually never played Left 4 Dead, and I really don't have a demi right now. Uh, yeah, so it's the same reasons as the other question. Uh, there you go. Let's see. Will you be doing a Let's Play of GoldenEye 007 or Super Mario 64? Uh, okay, I can't use the same reason for this one. Uh, my argument here is Super Mario 64 has been done to death. So many people have LP'd that game, and as much as I'd like to, I know the game's great, I have it, I love it. Uh, I don't see a point in me doing it either. I mean, as well as, you know, some on top of everybody else. I'm sure you guys would like to see it. I know I kind of have done some semi-popular games, like, or really popular games, like Mega Man, and, like, uh, what is it, Darkwing Duck. Those are few and far between, and even then I try to do a different route by doing the Game Boy versions of Mega Man. Uh, and GoldenEye, I've never actually really played it that much. I uh, I don't own it, so that would be a problem right there. And uh, the one time I did play it, I had rented it from a video game store, or like a movie rental place, and the person that rented it left all of their save data on the game, so it was already completed. It kind of ruined the experience for me, although I did enjoy playing what I did play of it. But I won't be doing an LP of that. Um, if you could eat only one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? Pizza. Uh, it's a toss-up between chicken fingers and fries and pizza, and uh, it's really hard to choose. <laughs> I like I love them both. I love putting ketchup on my chicken, and uh, I don't know what I'd do without ketchup. Although I have had ketchup on pizza before, it was quite good. Let's find another couple of short ones here. There aren't too many short ones, but we're blazing through these. Uh, have you ever gone spelunking? And I thought this was, have you ever played spelunky or something like that? But no, I haven't. I've done some uh, climbing and all sorts of trips to the mountains and rowing trips and everything, but I've never technically been spelunking. Might be really fun. I should probably give that a shot, although I certainly don't have the money for it. Um... Let's see, what other questions here? What did I have on that pizza? I had mentioned in that uh, previous video that I had, was going to get pizza, and uh, I got pepperoni. 
Very good. Puppuccinos, delicious. Uh, do I like cheese? Yes, I do. I would have gotten that pizza if I didn't. Uh, cheese is very good. Ham and cheese sandwiches, cheeseburgers, pizza, nachos. It's really close to dinner. I'm getting really hungry. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Let's see. What other ones do we have here? Any other short ones? Uh, I don't guess I don't really... Oh, here we go. What's my least favorite game that I ever Let's Played? Now, despite the fact many of you would probably think he's gonna say Batman Forever. No. Uh, it's not. You know, when I went into Batman Forever with Lan, I knew it was gonna be a bad game. I didn't have any high hopes. And, uh, the fact that I did, did it with a friend, it made it a much more enjoyable experience, despite the fact the game is a steaming pile. Um, the one I have to say was the, my least favorite is Green Dog. That one wins the award. I went into it with memories of playing it as a child. I knew it wasn't great, but I knew it was still kind of enjoyable, and after I finished it, it left a bad taste in my mouth. The ending was bad, the controls were really floaty, uh, and... The hitboxes were inaccurate, and the game was quite cheap. I'd have to put that one up there as my least favorite. Green Dog, you win. Let's see. So many questions here. I'm going through this much faster now. Probably because I've answered these so many times. Uh, what is your favorite Let's Play? Uh, it would have to be Jet Force Gemini. And I couldn't quite figure out if you were asking if... Uh, it's my, the favorite one I've ever watched, the favorite one I ever did, so I just assumed it was the favorite one I've ever did. And uh, Jet Force Gemini is a game that I do own. It's a game from my childhood. Uh, a game I greatly enjoyed, not too many people know about. And when I LP'd it, it just fell into place. It segmented almost exactly the way I wanted it to. Uh, it ended with an even 50 parts, although the playlist itself says 51 because of... Uh, the intro video, which doesn't have any voiceover work in it, um, but that just came out perfectly. And I know it does be kind of become kind of a mindless collectathon at the end, but the challenge and the little bonuses like the rainbow blood, uh, and just I had so much fun doing that LP. And if I could do it again, you know, I might. But it came out so perfect the first time, I probably won't do it again. And it would be silly to do it again anyway. And there are multiple questions from this person. The next one is, what's your favorite thing from Starbucks? Uh, I don't actually like Starbucks. I don't really drink any hot liquid. It kind of messes up my system. Uh, it's not it's not good. I can't really be around hot things. I need to be around very cold things all the time. Uh, let's see, Pepsi or Coke? Now, I like both. Uh, I like Coke, Pepsi, and many of their... Uh, offshoot products like Sprite and uh, ginger ale, all those things. But uh, if I had a glass to, a glass of each in front of me, I'd probably go for the Coke. Uh, to me, Pepsi seems a bit watered down, but they're both good. Uh, I'll drink either if I, you know, I know a lot of restaurants will only serve one or the other. And it's usually Pepsi, and that's fine, but uh, I guess Coke would be my answer for that one. My voice sounds really weird today. I think the... Uh, pollen is up today because my eyes have been driving me nuts. Anyway, you don't want to hear about that. You want me to answer the rest, rest of these questions. Blah, 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 blah. Let's see. We're starting to get into some of the more complicated ones. Here we go. This will be the last one I answer before I cut this video off. Uh, what is the hardest boss you ever faced? I faced a lot of cheap bosses, a lot of hard bosses, but I have to say the one that takes the cake is Gesho from Final Fantasy XI. Stupid Yagudo bird thing. Uh, it was a ninja type enemy, and boy, he could kick your ass. He was cheap as hell. My friends and I had a hard time trying to fight him. We lost so many times. I think I started to become a little bit obsessed with beating him, and we finally did it. We pulled out a victory, and it was so rewarding, rewarding to get beyond that point. It was great. He, basically, he could create clones of himself and he could make them all self-destruct and he had all sorts of ninja magic and oh uh, but we did it we pulled out a victory in the end and that that's got to be the one the hardest bosses are always the most rewarding when you beat them uh any other quick ones uh, blah, 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 blah. no 
Alright, so I'm going to end this video, and we will continue in part two.